Hello, this is Dr. Ford Brewer with state-of-the-art preventive medicine, heart attack, stroke, and cancer prevention for anyone with YouTube access. Today I'm going to do a, um, a blood glu uh, glucometry test or glucose measurement. We usually think of that as, well, that's only for diabetics. But let's remember the statistics. Uh, by the time we're age 65, a quarter of us have full-blown diabetes, and a third of those don't even know it. For most cases, I would say at least two people have insulin resistance for every diabetic. So let's think about those numbers. What, a quarter of us have diabetes at age 65, and... Um, Two insulin resistance for every for every diabetic. Three quarters of us have insulin resistance problems or glucose metabolism problems by the time we get age 65. Uh, if you read a book called Blood Sugar 101, it's got some great research in there. Um, according to that, and I think it's maybe conservative, over half of us become insulin resistant in our 50s. That sixth decade of life. And if uh, 50s and the 6th decade of life, 3 for a minute in terms of math, um, go back and do the math. So what I have here is a freestyle light. I actually saw a patient, um, as you can tell, given, the, given what I do, heart attack and stroke prevention, and the fact that um, blood glucose problems drive most heart attacks and strokes, um, I do a lot of that. I saw a patient this weekend and it, or this week, and it made me realize I need to start bringing my glucometer to those meetings because they said, "Well, how do you do it?" Well, here's how you do it. Okay, first of all, <clears throat> um, here's some basics. Here's the test strips, um, and let me show you the Lancet box. Freestyle Light. The reason I'm, I'm recommending Freestyle Light, by the way, is because it was recommended by a fellow named Richard Bernstein. Richard Bernstein is a type 1 diabetic. He's a physician, a father of um, diabetes self-management. If you call him, you can get his book, um, Diabetes Solution. And it's not just for diabetics. It's for all insulin-resistant people. He's He goes into incredible detail on how to manage glucose metabolism problems and again that's needed by over half of us before we hit age 60 and by the time we hit age 65 three quarters of us now <clears throat> a couple of points the freestyle anyhow so he recommends the freestyle light don't just get anyone. I got the contour at uh, CVS. Uh, did a test this morning. The contour said 91. The freestyle said 65. So uh, major, major variations in um, readings based on the, the machine itself. The glucometer is what we call it. Again, another look at it. The freestyle light. This is the, um, here, I'm going to take this out. This is the glucometer itself. We can go over how to set it later, or you can find other YouTubes on how to set the glucometer. Take the test strip, insert it with the butterfly up. And the, the glucometers themselves are like 20 bucks at Walmart and other retail environments. Um, it's the strips that get you. It's sort of like the razor blades and razor thing. The razor's cheap, but the blades are expensive. Same thing with this. The glucometer was 20 bucks. The, um, the strips are over a dollar. Now we're gonna to wanna to put the blood right on one of these black dots on either side, either part of the blood. I mean, or either part of the, uh, the strip. This is the Lancet. Um, I'll show you maybe, well, okay, I'll show you today how to, no, I won't. I'm going to show you how I do a Lancet today. Um, it's actually far simpler than using the, um, using the mechanical device. Take the Lancet here. That's just the Lancet 
itself. Um, click, and you do that right along the side of the finger, not in the um, not in on the top, not here, but here. And I can tell you, I've I used to play as a boy catching bees, and it's not as bad as a bee sting. Many people think it is. It isn't. You get a very, with this with the freestyle light. You can get a very small amount of blood. As you saw, I I touched it to the. Um, oops, sorry. I touched it to the side, and there we got a blood glucose of eighty. Uh, what's the target blood glucose, by the way? It's not a hundred. It's in the low eighties, low to mid eighties. Um, so that's all there is to it. Quick and dirty. And again, I'll be taking these to my patient evaluations in the future so they can find out exactly how to do this. Thank you.